I've been very active over the last 10 years with different phases of marathon training, cycling, strength training, kettlebell training, obstacle course racing. Over the last year or more, I've been alternating daily between strength training and endurance training very consistently, uh, consistently, I'm sorry, making sure not to overtrain, obviously. One of my goals for next year is a 56 kilometer trail race. I'd like to be somewhat competitive for my age group. How much would you recommend I cut back on strength training? And is there specific lifts or exercises that would help me stay healthy and strong while running so much? I'm 40 years old, and this is the important part, this last little bit, Pete. Five foot nine, 162. Um, listen, I, I would never question anybody on body mass, but for a 56K uh, kilometer trail race, 162, and I'm not, and don't take this wrong or right, I don't have a picture of you, but um, I, my senior in high school, I weighed 163 when I was a discus thrower. Um, Peter Schnell, who's a good friend of mine, uh, got three gold medals at the Olympics in 64 and, and before. Um, he was a big, strong guy, too. And when, when I was with him one time, we were talking about that. And, you know, in his tradition, it was he was a he was more of a sprint, a, a sprint middle distance runner versus, you know, uh, someone who. He liked to make people really, he liked to really push it. So he was a bigger guy too. Um, my concern is if you get into too much strength training, that number 162 might be might go up a little bit. And I've got to say that would be counterproductive to what you want. So use, I would say, you know, I don't know if you're doing a hinge, like a deadlift or something like that, but any kind of hinge and a deadlift probably the best one for you. I would imagine a hinge because this comes from Percy Cerruti, you know, that deadlift, you know, makes you tall, makes you strong. That's going to help you somehow holding your posture at least uh, in a race. Uh, something as simple as just doing a goblet squat, not for strength, but for mobility and flexibility might be just something because I don't necessarily think you want loose joints, but you want strong and flexible joints. You want, you want that what the, the in Chinese medicine they call the form knots uh, that's the hips and the shoulders uh, and you want your hips and shoulders to be like shoelace knots tight enough to stay together loose enough that you can unpull the strings well so one of the things yeah I think strength training will help you but at the same time I want you to think about uh, the four knots get stronger but stay mobile and flexible um, a deadlift, goblet squat, any kind of, I would probably just, I think there might be value in pull-ups for you, and I think there probably value in doing uh, overhead vertical presses, but uh, I would just keep it, I would stay away from the hypertrophy numbers as best I can. Honestly, and if you are, if you are a reader on our site, go over and review that recent article on easy strength and maybe even read some of the material on easy strength I've left up there. But clearly, I think you want to, to do more something like an easy strength program. Three to five days a week, two sets of five in the deadlift, two, you know, a total of 10 pull-ups somehow, two sets of five in, in a press, uh, ab wheel, and that's it. Just the four exercises. I wouldn't even do the additional exercise. And uh, so two sets of five, let's see, if you went – Deadlift, uh, deadlift, press, pull up an ab wheel. That would take you, you know, two sets of five each. It would take you eight, nine, ten minutes, and then use that goblet squat maybe in the warm up just to loosen things up at the bottom, and maybe finish off with a goblet squat or two where you're kind of loosening things up at the bottom at the at the end of the workout. But yes, I think it could help you very much. I think it could help you. Um, Joe D is one of the a good friend of mine. He was he was big into the Spartan races. He was one of the uh, uh, administrators of Spartan races. And you know when you meet Joe, you know he's a he's a big strong engine. And I think I think that's what you need. I think you need not only endurance, but you need all kinds of strength to be a, a trail runner. So I think it's going to help you. I thought that was a good question. Thank you, Pete.